Humacao, a municipality of 60,000 on the eastern shore. Mayor of, of Humacao, which is Marcelo Trujillo. Yes, sir. And we have the Mayor of Las Piedras. Uh, Mickey Lopez. Mickey Lopez. How many of your homes were destroyed or damaged? Well, around 500 uh, property were uh, partially damaged or totally destroyed. Uh, muy agradecido. Gracias a Noble Comunidad también. I just want to thank FEMA for, uh, on behalf of the people of Humacao for the support that we're getting from FEMA. Mayor, how many of your homes were damaged or destroyed? One task, uh, about 1,300. About 1,300 homes were partially or totally destroyed in his municipality, Humacao. Looking at your municipality, were there barrios or sections that were damaged more than others? Punta Santiago. Punta Santiago will go visit. Punta Santiago, the worst one. It is the worst. It's been 21 days since Hurricane Maria pummeled Punta Santiago. Most of the homes and businesses here have been totally destroyed. Standing water compounded by daily rains is starting to create health concerns in the barrios. Residents line up at the church each morning for FEMA food and water. This is the problem throughout the eastern part of the island. Roofs are gone. Every day the rains come in. People clean up from the rains of that day, go to sleep on the floor, and the next day, more rains. The mayor of Humacao sent researchers from the University of Puerto Rico to meet us in Punta Santiago. He wanted us to see Cayo Santiago, known throughout the world as Monkey Island. Hurricane Maria destroyed their dock, so the only way to get to Cayo is by boat and through the water. This rhesus macaque colony started in 1938 with only 400 monkeys from Southeast Asia. Several generations later, the colony has grown to more than 1,700. Hi, my name is Giselle Caraballo, and I'm the colony manager on Cayo Santiago. And tell me what the impact to Cayo Santiago was with Hurricane Maria. Uh, Hurricane Maria was completely devastating to Cayo Santiago. It took away all of our structures. It destroyed most of our structures, our lab area. It destroyed our trucks. It destroyed our... Um, ATVs, any form of uh, transportation we had got destroyed. A lot of the tanks that we have for collecting water for the monkeys, they got washed away by the ocean. Um, They're getting fuel. Huh? They're getting fuel we're easy. getting fuel fairly easily. We got a diesel uh, delivery diesel? yesterday, okay. which is good. Once we have roofs, we can collect water again for the monkeys and make sure that they have enough water. February, March, April hits, that's when we have problems with drought and we would need to start bringing water back from the mainland onto Cayo to be able to keep the monkeys healthy. What's the biggest risk to the colony right now? I'm reading in uh, London papers yesterday that we're days away from the end of the colony, so there's a lot of hype. Yeah. What's, what's the real risk to the colony right now? The biggest risk to the colony right now uh, would be lack of water. That we need. Cayo is unique in the sense that we have a DNA database for all of the animals since the 50s. Primatologists from prestigious universities all over the world have been visiting Monkey Island for 79 years just to study their behaviors. The rhesus monkeys on Monkey Island sense that the food is coming and they're all lining up. The National Institutes of Health have provided much of the funding for Cayo Santiago Colony over the years. We had the area where we stored the truck and we had our lab. And in the lab was where we used to store the food for the monkeys. These monkeys are completely wild. But after Hurricane Maria ripped out vegetation for natural foraging and destroyed the cisterns and pumps for fresh drinking water, they are now completely dependent on university staff for help. These are men and women of Punta Santiago who lost their homes and are completely dependent on others for their food and water too. Anywhere to store the food anymore. Um, as you can see, our truck got destroyed. Next to it was another cage where we had another truck and our digger. If you see, there are some stairs here. The building, the building used to be attached to the stairs. You see the building now, it's like 
20 feet behind the stairs. The water picked up the building, pushed it back, left the stairs here, and just took the building with it. On our visit to the colony, we wear masks to protect the monkeys from catching anything we might have. So does this make you sad up here? Oh, it's devastating. Um, the world wants to know, did Monkey Island survive Hurricane Maria? Well, Giselle is happy to report that no monkeys died in the hurricane, and in fact, 15 babies have been born since Maria left. They will have to rebuild their labs and replace the equipment that was destroyed, while FEMA helps them rebuild their homes and lives back in Punta Santiago. And that makes Mayor Marcelo Trujillo happy. We saw the problem. I would say FEMA is done good. Hurricane Maria was not kind to Humacao, to Punta Santiago, and certainly not to Cayo Santiago, Monkey Island. Gracias, señor. For FEMA Public Affairs in Cayo Santiago, I'm Paul McKellar.